Good morning everyone. We are here at Getty Image Gallery London to see John Inverdale's new exhibition A Sporting Life Behind a Microphone. So let's have a look. Uh, one of my best friends at university actually was an amateur jockey and he had a bad fall and broke his back and was in a wheelchair and he subsequently died from the complications of that. So I've, you know, I've kind of had a, an affinity, if you like, for the disability sport and everything that goes with it. Initially, I was given the opportunity, because I'm president of the Spire, which is a spinal injuries charity, to do a sort of fundraising event. That was the fundamental premise behind it, because all these wonderful pictures are for sale. And then we said, OK, well, let's just, from a personal point of view, pick out some of the events that I've been lucky enough to be at in sort of a 30-odd year plus career in, in the media. And so I then had this fantastic task of looking at thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures and picking, no, that one gets rejects, that one, oh, I'll cut that one back. And then eventually I came up, we said we'd have 50 pictures that were just moments that meant something to me, but also which had quite, hopefully quite good stories about them, of complete insanity. And decided to go into the water, roll up his trousers, and try and hit the ball, from, which was submerged in the water. And it was a complete disaster, and he didn't win the Open Championship. They, are, they were favourites to win the gold medal. They won the gold medal in Beijing. They were favourites to retain their title in 2012. They hadn't been beaten for years. And when it came to the moment of truth, 200 metres from the end of the race, to push and to win, the tank was empty and there was nothing there. And that's what losing feels like. First, the first rugby international I ever went to, my dad took me to, was at Twickenham in 1969, England against South Africa, and the match was almost, almost didn't take place. And then there was the long period of isolation for South Africa, and some, you know, and, and 25 years, 20, how many years it was, what, 69, 79, 89, uh, 26 years later, there we have Mandela and Pinar with that, probably the, you know, possibly the most famous sporting image of the whole of the 20th century. And, uh, you know, you thought that day sport could change the world. We know now it, it can't because no. that day when you looked around you and saw 80,000 people in Ellis Park, you thought the world at this moment is a better place as a result of sport and that's a pretty good memory.